Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the fish room. My name is Travis. So today we're going to be talking about fish aggression in the 300 gallon reef and the unfortunate death of my magnificent fox face. Now, if you saw the previous video, I was talking about how my fox face here, you guys can see is swimming across the front of the tank. Uh, he was pretty aggressive for several days and I end up um, catching the magnificent fox face against the power heads. Uh, he was stuck against there a couple times and Basically with that, we're going to talk about some lessons learned and some things that I probably have, should have done a little bit earlier and could have possibly saved his life. Now, when it comes to the fish in the 300, you guys know that I, I'm a pretty big tang guy. I really like tangs. I really like fox face and rabbit fish. Um, I used to be an eel guy until they started eating all my fish, unfortunately. Now, I did have any issues with Reggie, the snowflake eel, but that... Uh, that second one I think it was like a wolfie or something he was a problem and uh, again a lot of this stuff in the hobby a lot of things and, and really the reason why I make the videos on this channel is uh, there's a lot of lessons to be learned and some of the times sometimes the best way to learn is to uh, see somebody else go through it and uh, you know you can avoid it altogether so with that I'm no longer an eel guy I don't think eels are very fun I don't like have them in my tank they uh, tend to eat a lot of my smaller, prettier fish, like uh, this little Royal Brahma guy here. He probably uh, he probably would have been a snack by now. So, uh, and also, also there's a, a few uh, different damsels and chromuses that I really like, and smaller clowns that probably wouldn't be here if I was still still an uh, an eel guy. So, with that. Uh, I do have a lot of aggressive fish in the tank. As you guys know, tangs in general are just territorial. They're aggressive. Uh, they like to beat the heck out of each other. It's just kind of something they like to do. Now, up until a couple months ago, I only had one uh, fo uh, fox face, and uh, it was this bigger guy here. Now, I've gone through several of them over the years, had them in different frag tanks, and I've never had an issue with them, ever. But this guy always seemed to have an attitude and yes i don't want to put a whole like a uh, type of fish or a species of fish on, on a, a certain blacklist because of one uh, reputation of one but uh i will be more uh weary uh, in the future i will be able to like i guess look at fish for what they are and what their personalities are a little bit more given that i have experienced the aggressive side of a fox face i just have uh, when I uh, put this guy in this tank, he was immediately beating up on the tanks. I thought it was kind of weird, but it wasn't nothing crazy. It was just a little bit of aggression popping out of spikes and kind of bullying him around. And uh, that went away after the tanks started picking or you know sticking up for themselves, especially Big Blue here. He would stick up for himself and really kind of back him into a corner. And that went away and evened out. So I thought, hey, everything is fine. There's not going to be any issues, right? Well, then I got the Magnificent Fox Face, which is... Probably on the list of one of my favorite uh, fish. It just looks beautiful with the red, the black, the white, and the yellow. It's just a beautiful fish. Put him in there. No issues for quite a while. And then all of a sudden, just one day, I saw the fox face, the larger one here, just chase him around, like beating, beating him really bad, hitting him with his spikes. It was, it was pretty aggressive. And uh, I got to thinking, well, hey, maybe it's just going to be like the other fish in the tank. It, it's going to find its, its, its happy place, and they're going to get their own area, and everything's going to be fine. But unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. Now, some of the things that I have done to uh, help with the aggression in this tank is I feed a lot of nori. My might as well go ahead and feed some now. Um, I feed a lot of nori, and I used to put it on the clip, but now I just put it in the tank, and I let it flow, and they drag it down and kind of do their thing. Uh, sorry, I scared you guys there. But um, I feed a lot of nori, and I let it float around the tank. Uh, because this is where they get to kind of pull it apart and fight for it. And yes, I know the glass is dirty. Guys, you got to do a water change. But um, so they'll drag around the tank and they really um, kind of fight for aggression. And this is something that was confirmed when I talked to another reefer who does the same thing. And it was just one of those things that really helped with the aggression in the tank. Letting that nori kind of float around and let them fight for it and, and kind of have a little bit of a pecking order during the feeding process. So that has helped significantly with the tang aggression in the tank. Another thing I've done is I've only added tangs that are roughly the same size. Uh, as you can see, a lot of these guys are pretty much the same. We do the, have the exception of the blue tang and, and big blue there. Uh, they are a little bit larger, but other than that, the majority of the fish are the same size. And uh, yeah, they, they seem to do uh, pretty well with this type of uh, feeding method and also keeping them roughly around the same size. Now, uh, this is the first time I've ever been able to get away with having two yellow tangs in one tank. I just got lucky, honestly. I put them in at different times, and they never bothered each other. But 
I did have a couple Scopus tank which have the same facial structure as a yellow tank and they didn't do so well so I had to move them to separate tanks but I got lucky so I'm not going to rock the boat on that or rock the tank on that. Now another thing that I've done that's been really successful when adding fish regardless if it's tangs or chromis or or damsels clowns it doesn't matter but adding multiple fish at one time has always really been successful for me especially when you have a, a kind of a brute like Big Blue here who really likes to uh, express his dominance on every living being in this tank. So if you can add a multiple fish, two, three, four, five at one time, uh, granted, if you're just kind of starting out and you're in a cycling process and your tank isn't really established, you don't want to be adding a bunch of tanks. So, you know, keep that in mind. But uh, if you're adding multiple fish, it really helps spread that aggression out and kind of gives him more targets, you would say, uh, allowing those other fish to kind of get situated and not be just the only one getting bullied. Now, if you are just adding one fish because, hey, you're starting a new tank or, hey, you, you bought an $1,800 fish and you, you don't want to buy two of them, well, uh, you can... Uh I like to use something like the Tang Decoy. You can get the larger one, which I use in this tank. And uh, that, again, just adds another target for those more aggressive tangs like Big Blue here or now the Fox Face. And uh, giving that aggression uh, or spreading that aggression out for the rest of the tank. So uh, with that, uh, that, that's kind of the things that have been very successful for me when it comes to adding fish. And now let's talk about the lessons learned when it came to this Fox Face. Now, um, as I mentioned, I'm not going to put fox face in the category of being super aggressive i'm just not this guy is just a character maybe you know maybe he was raised differently as a child i mean i got him at that size maybe he had a rough home who knows we're just going to leave it at that either way he's a really aggressive so i'm not going to put all the fish in that category i'm just going to chop it up as hey this is a fluke it is what it is i'm going to uh take it as a lesson learned and when we switch around the tank or i upgrade my tank he will probably just be a, a frag tank guy outside of that, just for aggressive wise. And uh, so what I've learned is I'm just not going to um, uh, put fish in here and let the aggression continue. If I put it in there and this guy is just beating up the fish continuously and you can start seeing the fin damage and you can start seeing the stress or even catch them against the power head, as I mentioned before, if I start seeing those things, I'm immediately going to remove the fish that's getting picked on. I'm not going to let it sit in there and just kind of see what happens because it's just not fair for the fish. I mean, just throwing them into a cage where they're going to get beat up and they, they can't do anything to defend themselves. It's just not right. So um, even if even in the past with the tangs kind of going through their thing and, and working it out and everybody kind of, you know, did their own thing and there wasn't any issue after a while, I still think that it's best that I'll go ahead and remove them if the if it's more than just a little fin slap here and there if they're just kind of like hey what's up flap get out of my slap get out of my area kind of thing that's fine but if they're actively putting them up against power heads or up against a tank and you can start seeing the physical damage on the fish it's time to pull them um and not let that and hope that it gets better it's just it's not the right thing to do and uh this was the first instance that i've had that really happen and it kind of like smacked me in the face and i was like hey it's time to make a change and uh i will say in hindsight if i if i would have caught that fish the very first time that it was stuck to my mp40 um just kind of laying there trying to get away from him i probably could have saved him now i did end up catching him the second time as i mentioned before i, I said if i ever saw him near the power head again I was going to pull him out and put him in my frag tank. And I did do that, but it was too late. I got him in the frag tank. He was there for a couple days. Uh, he was eating. He seemed fine, but he was beat up pretty good. He had a lot of cuts on him from the spikes, and um, it just was it was too late. So that, that's really my lesson learned and what I'm going to take away from this. And as I mentioned, the hobby is just full of lessons learned. So I would say if you're seeing aggressive, overly aggressive um, fish in your tank, you can either, either remove the aggressor, which I've done in the past with Big Blue. I've taken him out a couple times because he has an attitude problem. And when he starts to get one, I tend to remove him as well. But if you start seeing that overly aggressive fish, you, again, you can remove them. Or you can remove the fish that's getting beat up and uh, and go from there. Um, because when I put Big, Big Blue back in there, he went back to his old ways. And uh, now he's learned how to evade the net. So... But we haven't had any issues, so, you know, knock on wood on that. So, either way, guys, uh, if you've had issues with uh, Fox Face, feel free to let me know. I know a lot of you guys said that that's not something that's very common. But, hey, I can't be the only one out there who has a jerk of one, right? So, if you had some issues with Fox Face, let me know. If you've had issues with Tangs or you have another method that you've used besides a Tang decoy, adding multiple fish at one time, um, isolating fish. If you, have, if you have a better method, feel free to, again, put that stuff in the comment section because uh, people are going to read it and you can always be helping somebody else out. So, with that said, guys, hope you... Hope you have a, a good weekend. 
I'm going to be doing a water change on the 300 here today. I'm just waiting for my salt to get ready. And uh, we're gonna be calibrating the temp probe. We're gonna be doing the water change, cleaning out some detritus, moving some coral around, and uh, make the tank look beautiful again. So with that said, guys, I will see you later in the next video. Hope you have a good week. Bye.